What's going on everybody? Today we have a very special device with us here. We have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. For those of you who are familiar or unfamiliar with the Sony devices, we're going to start working on this box a little bit. So the Sony devices are somewhat unique. Um, you know, a lot of people call them, uh, you know, uh, enthusiast devices. Some people call them, you know, a waste of time. Some people call them the best smartphones out there. You know, they are a 21 by 9 aspect ratio with a unique 4K display. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit. Packaging here kind of feels a little paper-esque. Um, it is definitely a, uh, a cheap boxing. Um, we're going to open it up here in just a second and see what we have inside. Um, but as I said, we have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. So let's take a look. I'll open it up. You have the phone at the forefront here. Beautiful camera setup on the back. Uh, three camera setup with your main camera. Telephoto lens and uh, ultra wide. It's a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It has a little bit of a textured back, which I kind of like. Uh, it is Gorilla Glass Vectus 2 on the phone. Um, and the back actually kind of feels almost like a plastic, but it's, it's not. It's glass and it's textured, which is really nice. There's absolutely nothing in the box except for some paperwork in the phone. There's no cable, there is no power brick, um, which is a little strange, but. Um, what have you, I guess that is how Sony's decided to ship this device this time around. The edges also have a little bit of a ridge on them, um, which is kind of a nice feel um, along with that textured back. Um, the textured back, of course, is going to help with fingerprints, which I really like. Um, you know, it's going to help keep from seeing all those, especially if you have kids like I do. Uh, you know, they're going to keep that from, you know, being very uh, fingerprinty on the back. <laughs> so we're going to work through the setup process here for just a minute and, uh, and then take a look. Fingerprint reader is seems to be very thorough. Um, it is it seems to feel good, solid, um, pretty decently quick process. Unlocking the phone now, we have a little bit of uh, a greenish type display. The uh, screen is capable of 120 hertz, but it is not on by default. So make sure you, you go into the settings and turn that on as well as um, your 4K display. If you want to see true 4K, you're going to have to turn that on as well to be on all the time. However, there is an option that it just turns on with specific applications that you designate, which is kind of nice. Basically a stock Android experience for the most part with some additional Sony features. Um, you know, load up a photography pro app here and just test it out a little bit. It's a nice point and shoot with a dedicated camera button, which I'll show you here in a second. Uh, but it's really nice to have that dedicated button on the top here. Uh, it just adds that a little fluidity to taking pictures and rather than tapping the screen, uh, take a little couple quick point and shoots here in the basic function. Um, as you can see, the Sony has that very fast autofocus. Uh, it's just a really, really nice uh, feature, I think, in my opinion. I shoot on a Sony uh, Alpha camera and they, the autofocus has always been um, fantastic. I have to turn on my auto rotate here real quick. Some decent clarity um, in the basic mode, but these phones, you know, from previous experience, are for the manual shooter. The people that are going to talk, you know, point and shoot with manual settings. They're not just pulling it out and taking pictures. But it does produce a decent enough image uh, here with a, a well-lit area to have uh, a nice finalized product from just that initial taking the picture. Overall, you have four, two forward-facing speakers, which is really nice. They sound, they sound really decent. Um, the 
uh, it's really nice to have that on the front and honestly who cares about a hole cut out for the camera I mean they have it right there included in the top um, you have your three cameras on the back like I mentioned before um, and uh, finally a, a microphone on the back which is new this year uh, and that's really nice to see as well um, you have your volume rockers and fingerprint scanner and overall it's just a really a nice solid device in my opinion from a build quality perspective Well, we have, as mentioned earlier, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V with us today. So let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, before I'll have an in-depth review coming later, but here's the reality of it, right? Just from out of the box, first day in the hand with my SIM card in it, using it. It is an enthusiast device. It, it, it truly is. It is for those people who shoot on Sony Alpha cameras, for those people who love the Sony Alpha camera experience, um, and they're, they're looking to add to that. You have some great features involved, right? So you've got, you have things like the external secondary display option for some of the Alpha cameras that you can hook this up and use it as an external monitor. One of the things that a lot of people like about these phones is features like those, but the reality is they're enthusiast features. So let's talk about the things that we want to see in this device to make it maybe not so much an enthusiast phone, maybe make it something that is for the masses. So first of all, in using it day to day, it's, it's we talk about candy bars, candy bar smartphones, right? This, of all things, is the candy bar smartphone. Like, it is just big and tall. If I were to compare it to my Z Fold 4, I'll even take the case off to get rid of some of the bulk of the on the device here. It is a tall, thin device, and there's just no getting around it. So you put these two side by side, and you've got a quarter inch or more there in height. And overall, the thickness is actually not that different. So you have a device that is designed to be a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. And personally, I actually love it. Um, it. I would fall into the enthusiast category. I love the Sony Xperia phones. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I have one enormous gripe with the Sony Xperia devices, and that is battery life. The battery life on this phone today is egregious. <laughs> I get a longer, more full day out of my Z Fold 4 than I do out of this. And main reason being, I, I have it set to creator mode in the display settings, which I'll, I'll show you guys in the full review, but it's a 4K display. It is a phone with a 4K display. There's nobody else in the market doing that right now. And that's cool. It's an enthusiast feature in my opinion. All other phones, 1080p, maybe 1440p on, on your flagship devices. I will say one of the things I love so uh, just after the first day on this device is a fingerprint sensor. It is just so responsive. As soon as I tap it, it's unlocked. I mean, as soon as my finger touches it, um, which is really nice. Um, it's 120 hertz refresh rate, so it's, it's gonna be quick. At the end of the day, uh, you know, my initial thoughts from the unboxing, from using it for a day, is it, it's going to fall into that enthusiast category. You're talking about spending $1,400 on a device that is not going to fit everybody's, you know, book. It's, it, it is an enthusiast device, uh, but that's okay for now. What does that do to Sony in the next few years? If they don't come out with something more for the masses and, and change their game, or rather not change it, but add something to it to kind of offset that, you know, who knows? Who knows what that looks like? Uh, but overall, like I said, I love it. One of my favorite features that I've noticed, especially with my two boys always running around, they're three and one, so they're running around like crazy, is I love with the dedicated shutter button here on the side, I love being able to just simply hold that and launch the camera app. That's just a really nice feature in my opinion. Um, I know most phones have it, you know, double tap the power button or you can do it from the lock screen, but you know, I'm, pull, I'm pointing to shoot and it's boom. As soon as I open that up, I'm ready to snap a picture. Um, and I just, I really, really appreciate that on this device. Um, so, uh, yeah, so 
stay tuned for the full review on this. Um, you know, once again, just take a look at this device up close. I mean, it is a very, very well designed device. It is just really nice. Um, I think it is a great uh, build quality. You have a great set of um, cameras on the back of it. It's going to be for the people willing to go into manual settings. That's what these cameras are. Um, good lighting, perfect conditions. It's going to get the job done on you know a point and shoot. But at the end of the day, it is not going to be for everybody, um, at least for right now. So stay tuned. Keep you posted. Check it out.